Hi and welcome to this video. In this tutorial, we're going to design a very stylish outfit together, which includes both a top and a bottom piece. We'll go through the entire design process step by step. Before we start designing from scratch, just a quick note. If you ever need ready-made garments or patterns, they are great resources out there. I've shared some of my favorites on my Clo Connect profile, so feel free to check it out. Let's get into the design. First, press H to activate the polygon tool. Uh, you can also select it from the 2D toolbar here. Uh, I'll start drawing uh, slightly away from the avatar so we can create a better fitting pattern. If you draw it too close to the avatar's body, it might end up too tight. So uh, I want a round neckline. Uh, I'll start from here and draw mm, the shape. Just click once for each point and make sure the last point connects back to the first so the shape closes. Now I'll press A on the keyboard to select the shape and then uh, control D to make it symmetrical. And again, with A, select all Ctrl C and Ctrl V to duplicate it and create the back pattern. To sew the patterns together, you can choose segment sewing from here or uh, press N as a shortcut. Click from one edge to the matching edge to sew them. During simulation, these pieces will connect. Make sure to align the edges uh, properly, top to top, bottom to bottom. If one side is upside down, it won't simulation. It won't simulate correctly. Now I'll press A again to select both pieces. Then press five on the keyboard to switch to top view. I'll move the pieces around, and um, if you see twisted or zigzag swing lines, it means the patterns are flipped. To fix that, press Ctrl G to flip the pattern direction if you look in a uh, texture mode um, one side of the fabric will appear white and the other side dark white for the front dark for the back always make sure you're working with the correct side and in texture view now press spacebar to um, simulate or click the simulate button from the toolbar uh, using the spacebar is much faster. Let's work on the armholes. I'll press C or hold this button and select edit curve point to create a smooth curves for the armholes. Um, this part here uh, needs to be slightly higher so I'll press Z and select the point on the back pattern, hold shift and select the same point on the front pattern, uh, drag it slightly upward. Now it's time to add the sleeves and attach them to the patterns so we can continue building our full garment. Press edge for the polygon tool or press S to use the rectangle tool. You can also click and hold here to select the rectangle tool. The shortcut is S. I'll draw a rectangle as the base for the sleeve and then I press C to slightly curve the sleeve cap. Select the shape, shape press 5 for the top view and rotate it a bit to align it near the arm. This way the simulation will be smoother. This time we need to sew the sleeve to both the front and back patterns. So instead of segment sewing, we'll use free swing. Press M or select it from here. Start sewing from the middle of the sleeve to the front pattern 
and then from the other side to the back pattern it will show you a guide to help align the um, sleeve correctly press the space bar to simulate now I'll press N to use segment swing again and close the sleeve side seam press set uh, select the bottom edge of the sleeve right click and offset choose offset as internal line um, my unit is a millimeters but you can switch to centimeters if you prefer it doesn't make a difference here i'll go uh, 150 millimeter which is um, 15 centimeter up for uh, from the hem right click again and select cut and sew now press a select the lower part and if you see a small circle in the center double click it uh, you can drag it to the make it the sleeve tighter so now we have this sleeve shape but I want the lower part of the sleeve to be puffier so I'll press Z again and adjust these points outward to give it more volume player press a space bar again to simulate it still looks a bit loose so i'll tighten it a little to improve the shape now for the other sleeve you don't need to recreate it from scratch just select it and uh, duplicate it with Ctrl D. Now let's refine the back neckline. I press Z, select the bottom point and drag it upward. Then I press C to slightly curve this line, create a cleaner uh, neckline shape. And uh, for the front, I lower it a bit, press C again and add a soft curve to shape the front neckline. If you look closely, you'll see a gap between the avatar's neck and the garment. Click on the avatar and in the property editor, go to the surface section. There's a setting called skin offset. The higher value, the more distance this is between the fabric and the avatar's body. I reduce it to 1, so the fabric sits closer to the body. You can even set it to 0, depending on your design's needs. Now let's um, shape the back. I want it to be more straight and structured. Um, I lower the front just a bit again, press C and... Uh, curve it for a soft transition we're going to give this design a corset like structure so i'll add a new fabric and i'll name it corset and i'll create another fabric for the sleeves as well since corsets typically use stiffer fabrics i select a corset pattern pieces then apply the corset fabric to them next in the property editor scroll down to the physic physical property presets here you can choose different material behaviors since um, I want a stiff material I go with thick full grain leather this give it a uh, firmness we need now I press Z this part select this part and adjust the gizmo a bit to reposition it more accurately then I press G to add internal line for cutting or you can click and hold here to select internal polygon line I draw a curved shape like this, move it um, slightly downward, then right click on the line, hold and choose smooth curve. 
Now drag this point upward to refine the curve. Next, select the internal shape, right click and choose cut and sew. To make it more realistic, I'll create a new fabric and again apply thick full grain leather as its physical property and I also increase uh, decrease the opacity so this piece isn't visible or transparent. In the 3D window, click on the area where you want to replace the line, press G and draw the internal line here. Click and hold to apply a smooth curve, drag the point as needed and then right click to cut and sew. And finally to make sure everything is saved and we don't lose our progress, press Ctrl S to save your project. Now let's add boning lines to the corset. First I press Z hold shift and select these lines both on the front and back pattern pieces right click and choose offset as internal line then enter 5 mm or 0.5 cm once the lines appear in yellow right click again and choose cut and sew now simulate the garment again to, so everything sits neatly and cleanly. Let's do the same for the lower part of the corset. Next, press G to draw boning channels. Hold shift, select the lines you've uh, created and again apply offset internal line. Press Z, double click one of the new lines you select them all, right click and choose cut and sew. Now for the center front I don't want a seam or cut here so I click on one of the cut lines right click and choose merge to combine them into one continuous pattern for the back part i'll repeat the same steps at several internal lines double click to select them all and apply cut and sew But this time I won't merge the back pieces because I plan to add a zipper there. Once the boning lines are in place, we need to give them thickness. Select the boning panels. Then go to the simulation um, properties and add a thickness value. I'll enter 2 mm. This gives them a nice raised 3D effect. Now let's define a new color in the property editor to keep our work organized. I copy the existing fabric and name this one boning or band. Uh, let's darken the color slightly so it stands out from the rest. Now one by one 
I select each boning panel and assign them the new darker fabric. Now here's an important step, for boning channels the two layers must not be sewn together. Uh, so press B or um, go to edit sewing, then click on the stitch lines you want to remove and hit delete. Now when you simulate the fabric pieces will separate. If any area still looks stuck like here. Um, it might be because of the top edge, click the stitch on the top line and gently pull it up upward to give it more space to open. Now let's add a zipper. On uh, the left toolbar, find and click the zipper tool, click once um, at the top of the back seam, then drag downward and click it. Repeat it for the upside side, uh, opposite side and double click at the bottom to complete it. Now zipper appear. To change its appearance, turn simulation off, select the zipper with A and go to the property editor. There are two main sections to customize, this and tape. This you can change the color or material, like plastic, switch to metal. Tape, just a tape color as you like. You can also customize the slider and uh, puller colors to match your designs. And that's how we add boning structure and a functional zipper to the corset.